Hi there. Here I am today at our main research site where we have over 48 different trials. And we have a typical day sort of post herbicide application. It's very hot and it's very windy and that's putting a lot of stress on this plant as we get ready for that reproductive stage. So when we start thinking about the reproductive stage, there's four variables that we really need to look at. The first one is the very high nutrient demand required by these flowering parts of a plant, whether it be potassium, calcium, boron, zinc, manganese, and copper. There's a lot of nutrients we need to think about. The second piece we need to think about is the nutrient mobility in the plant and how it can be impacted by some of these environmental conditions that I'll talk about in a minute. The third piece that really comes to light in some of this heat and some of this wind is the ability of the soil to supply nutrients. And the good example of that is when that soil starts to dry out, we start getting nutrient stratification. And nutrients such as potassium and such as boron are compromised in terms of their ability to be taken up by the plant. And the fourth variable that I want to focus a little bit more time on here today is the challenges of heat and moisture stress. So when we think about heat and moisture stress, we need to think about a couple of key elements. The first one being potassium. Potassium is so important for managing water relations in the plant, managing the stomata opening and closing, which ultimately results in the ability to optimize photosynthesis and move nutrients in that plant. Manganese is critical at this point as well because it's very important for managing that water and that stem strength and not letting that wilting happen. We also have other nutrients that are critical for cell wall formation uh, as well as optimizing photosynthesis such as copper, such as zinc, such as calcium. And the last one that I want to talk a little bit about is actually boron. Boron is one that we talk a lot about and we always use this element as one that's very important for managing a plant during heat stress. And when we talk about heat stress, we talk about this critical level on canola being 28 degrees Celsius. This is a temperature where we're at that temperature or above where we can get a boarding of the flowers, we don't get pollination, we don't get uh, seed set. And this is called heat blast. Now there is no cure, there is no miracle cure for dealing with heat, but what is critical is optimizing nutrient concentration in the plant, and boron is critical in doing this. As you can see in this experiment that was conducted, when a plant was put under heat stress and was given optimum boron nutrition, the level of heat blast was reduced as if the temperature was less than 28 degrees Celsius, around 22 degrees Celsius. So it's very critical that we have optimum nutrition focusing on these elements that we've been talking about to drive photosynthesis and deal with heat stress. Now, how do we get these nutrients into the plant? And how do we make these nutrients work better in the plant? And this is where we have the final piece that comes into play, which is really the biostimulants. There's a number of companies out there that are looking at just putting on a biostimulant to deal with heat. But that's just a part of the story. Number one is we need proper sound nutrition ahead of time before this heat occurs. Number two, let's take that bile stimulant, or in our case, multiple bile stimulants, put it into the formulation to drive nutrient uptake, nutrient use efficiency, and then also deal with mother nature, deal with abiotic stress to really drive photosynthesis, productivity in the plant, and help it as much as we can during these stressful times. So some of the products to look at when looking at a combination of the right nutrients as well as the right biostimulants to deal with flowering and this heat demand on the plant is products such as Energy KB, which contains the cell burst technology, the Kinetic Boron, which contains a couple of key biostimulants, as well as our Fortify line that's designed specifically with a wide range of nutrients specific for each crop. To learn more about nutrition or heat or the importance of flowering, nutrition of flowering, go to our website today or talk to one of our ATP representatives. Thank you.